Hey guys, so I know I showed you guys the master plate. This is the plate that you would receive. Now notice, very subtle engraving. So what we did here is replicate a hand engraving into a plate so that it can be, it'll look like you hand engraved your metal when you're done. But these do not require a lot of pressure. They don't require uh, any foam or paper or anything. But you do have to make sure your metal is well finished because this is very fine. So here we go. We're going to use, I'm using 16 gauge because this has become a tough. Crank your, your metal open. Slide it together. Tighten it all the way down till it's tight and you can't move your part, okay? Then I'm going to open it up, but I'm going to bring it back to the exact position it was. So here we go. I'm going to turn this. This one's going to go all the way around to over here again. Take my metal out and all the way back. Now I'm going to move this over to here. So we're going to go a full half turn. Well, half a turn, not a full turn. Okay, here we go. Notice, we now have an image on our copper and our plate is fine. But notice how the plate curves. That's not a problem. That's totally normal. Okay? So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to, I'm just going to use a Sharpie to show you how to do it quick. Follow me. You know, you could probably do a quarter turn with this. You could probably get away with a quarter turn because this is so subtle. But it's plenty deep to get a beautiful image. My mill is oily. Okay. Let's go. I think, I think Annie is the keeper of the, uh, the Sharpie. Annie's the keeper of the shark. <laughs> you would think that we'd have more than one Sharpie. <laughs> we do not. We can always locate one at a time. <laughs> yeah. So we color our image in. This will give us a beautiful engraved. Do you have any idea image. where the Bob's Big Boy die went? Five. No clue. No? Alright, so now we gotta find the steel wolf. Somebody clean my bench. Ooh, check it out. I found it. Ooh. Is anybody watching this shenanigans? Oh yeah, we've got 12 people watching. Cool. So, when you use your steel wool, you just want to buff the color off. Because what's happened is the ink is now down inside the engraving, just like a print. So we just gently... Buff it down. Notice it coming out. You don't want to go too hard. Like I said, this is thin crust pizza. This is not deep dish. This is not Chicago style. Those of you who remember my last videos on this subject. It's looking the light. Very pretty. 
So what we're going to do next, we're going to make it into a bracelet. I think that'll be cool. Just trying to decide how I want it to look. You know what? Let's just form it, and then I'll deal with the uh, with the aftermath. Okay. Bracelet forming frame centered in here. Let's use the large thin plastic former. Snap that baby in there. Where is it? Anybody seen my urethane? Someone cleaned again. It used to be on the floor and I was tripping on it. We're trying to be neat and tidy, but we're just not those kind of people. Oh, we can always go grab a new one. That's probably what it's coming to. Just pull them out of the inventory. <laughs> this is painful. You'd think we'd have all this stuff prepared. I thought it was sitting here. Let me go find a piece. Here are two nice antique drop hammers. Both run manually right now. Though this one has the assembly so you could hook up a belt fed motor to it. Draw it up. And this actually has a little clutch up inside the wheel. So it would raise it up, raise it up, and it would just float free freely until you pulled this, tightening it down. And then it would drop. Got a brand new one. Ooh. So you put that in there. And this is super wide. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to actually chop this down. Well, let's go ahead and... I'll show you how to make it really wide. Because I know you guys don't like them when they wrinkle. So we'll do a video on how to fix that. Starting to bulge in the center there, starting to curve. This is definitely not going to be as easy as using a normal whip, okay? That time you moved it off center. Oh shit. Make sure you keep your piece centered. This is a pain. You know what? That's not going to work guys. Way too big a piece. I definitely need to uh, shrink this. To make this into something usable so let's we have a machine that flattens them yeah let's just chop this down it's just way too wide it's like fighting a battle i'm not gonna win i need to smack this with a hammer we got hammers we got leather mallets yep.
Yeah, don't, when you guys make bracelets, don't try to make them over two inches wide. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Whatever could go wrong, Kevin. I know, so. I know you guys want it to look like a Wonder Woman bullet, you know, and then Wonder Woman cups, but stop it. It's too much. Take this down. Uh, we had somebody asking if there's a way to do this with a medium press. Yeah. The uh, or bracelet. manual. Sorry, manual, not medium. Yeah, of course. You can do it with manual, no problem. It just takes longer. Yeah, I, the only reason you don't see me doing videos with manual presses is because I, I feel bad for you guys having to watch this. If you had to watch me with a manual press, There'd be no one watching me. It's bad enough seeing this uh... So that looks pretty good. Zap that. Yep. I gotta immediately go to shape. Mm -hmm. We're just fighting way too much metal. This is 16 gauge. Show them how it curls up through, see? Curling up into it. Go the other way. So basic shape is done. We use a smaller one to get the corners. There it goes. See? Smaller. Make sure that's always in the middle. So this will bring everything together. Which former is that? It's way too soft. I need a 95. So, you know, if I had my 95 durometer, it would be way better. Because what we're not getting is enough squish. Vincent! Uh, Where is he? He's the one who just cleaned all this and took my part. 
If any boy, probably off with the shear. Have you guys seen any of the urethane? I need that hard stuff. Oh, well, 95 95 year armor. Right? So this anvil is from 1870. Nah, it's older than that. Well, it has 1817. been... 1817. 1817, yeah. I can read, I just can't speak. I've always liked this one. We've had it for a long time. It has the tree engraved into it. Church window style base. And you know, back in the day, they basically got a bunch of blacksmiths together. Got a bunch of hot iron, built a big fire, and smacked with hammers. And then quench them inside of lakes. To hopefully get it hard. Then we got this one a while back. Which is a huge church window. Did you throw it all away? No, I didn't throw it away. The fucking... Already horn going off to the side. Down, down. Thanks. See, now it's working. We're getting a nice curve to the whole thing. Yeah, don't don't film right in there. You're going to get it's in the way. We have to fix that. Okay. See how it's rolling over now? We're getting a nice rolled edge. Any of your synclastic forms, they take more effort. But if you uh, take your time, you can definitely get a nice little arc. Let's go blacken it one more time, and then uh, we'll call it good. But you don't hurt your image at all, which is really awesome. Yeah, I need the, uh... The magic sharpie. Goodbye, Potter people. I love you. <laughs> Bye, Chris. Yeah, so we know what will remove the ink is hitting it with about, you know, 20 tons of force. <laughs> Actually, it's only it's not that much force because you're pressing into urethane. You just got to make sure you use the right kind. I was using whatever I could find, but you should be using 95. That's what we ship it with. It's the Wonder Woman cuff. Oh, that's a pretty good one. Yeah.
Annie's is the only clean office in the shop. Oh, I don't know that I would call it clean, but it's better than mine. I do know where things are. Yeah, see, yeah. I can see desk space. <laughs> there is a horizontal surface yeah. available. She's the keeper of the sharpie. I am, and other things that we don't want to lose. Yeah. If I don't want to lose it, we give it to Annie. So that's looking pretty neat. Use fine steel wool. Don't use anything super coarse. Showing them how to do these really fine detailed dyes. Mm -hmm. Our thin crust pizza. Our thin crust. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. I know I'm already, I get emails from people. It's not very deep. And I'm like, no, it's not. We'll just it's supposed to replicate hand engraved. See, that looks really cool, I think. That's very nice. I like it. And, uh, you know, with a little tuning and some work, you'd have a nice cuff. That'd be kind of cool. Anyway. Hopefully Ian was adequately entertaining. <laughs> I showed him old stuff. Oh, that's nice. good. Um, so yeah, that's what they are. We're gonna make a few more, and then make sure everybody's on the same page and knows how to use them, and is getting good results. Then we'll make more. We'll make more intricate ones, more elaborate ones. Uh, with this method, I can engrave entire poems. Uh, I could engrave anything you guys want pretty much and it would look like a hand engraved piece which would be really awesome so take it easy guys